When you're the sibling of a world-class player who has the world at his feet, has already won the World Cup, has a truckload of trophies and individual awards in the cabinet, and is promised multiple Ballon d'Or awards in the coming years, you know that you have quite a task on your hand to be noticed. At the age of 15, Ethan Mbappe has already experienced something most of us do when the achievements of our siblings are discussed more at family dinners. Uh, yeah. Now imagine how hard it'd be for Ethan to boast his parents about getting into the PSC youth setup, especially when his elder brother has already done that and beyond. But that does not understand Ethan as a player at all. Unlike Kylian Mbappe, Ethan is not the sort of player who will score goals and make those runs at the opposing defenses that evoke memories of a certain Brazilian number 9. Ethan is a very versatile midfielder. According to his coaches, the youngster is a very elegant player with the ball. Technically, he is strong and has great vision. Not just that, he has great passing abilities which means that he could become quite a midfield conductor in the coming years. However, unlike Kylian Mbappe, Ethan does not possess the explosiveness of his older brother. But not just that, Ethan is left-footed. Clearly, these two could not be different enough. Three years ago, Ethan Mbappe had the opportunity to sign with the esteemed Clairefontaine Academy, a finishing school that has provided some really top-level stars to the French national team. However, the youngster decided to stay at PSG. While it was a very big decision, Ethan made the right call. At the age of 15, Ethan Mbappe has already established himself in the PSG Academy and is definitely one of the most highly rated players on the planet. Since Ethan is a player who was a part of development staff at PSG, there's not a lot of data available to really gauge his quality. But don't worry about it guys, I have you covered. So from what we've observed from the very little footage that is available, Ethan Mbappe possesses the following traits that are important for any modern day midfielder. Positional awareness, discipline, good passing, crossing ability, and high energy. While he is listed as a defensive midfielder, we kind of suspect that in the coming years, especially when he develops further from a sporting and physical perspective, Ethan Mbappe is going to become more of a deep-lying midfielder. We've already said that Ethan is the exact opposite of his older brother, but then again, the 15-year-old does not really need to entirely look at his brother as inspiration, especially if he wants to someday play for the PSG senior side. Since he's a midfielder, Ethan Mbappe can be a far more creative player than his brother. His ability to create space for himself and the way in which he opens up his body before receiving a pass reminds me of Diego Mata, who represented PSE with great distinction and also happened to be left-footed midfielder playing in the same position. When it comes to set-piece ability, Ethan Mbappe has great vision and knows how to whip the ball in the danger zone. Through the footage we saw from PSE's under-15 game against Anderlecht, Ethan Mbappe assumes responsibility in dead ball situations and it's not surprising to see why. The youngster puts in the right crosses in the right areas and if he continues working on his ability, he would become the sort of player any manager would want to have in the starting 11. As a midfielder, Ethan is very Disciplined. You will never see him being out of position. He likes to create space for himself when a defender is looking for absence and once he receives the ball, the teenager prefers to do one of these two things. He would either open his body up, receive the ball and then look for his absence or he would carry the ball further up the field before making a progressive pass. And of course you expect a player in this role to do this right. And at the age of 15, Ethan has his basics spot on. I mean not many midfielders are good at spraying passes in all directions but Ethan does it all with ease. So now let's get to the bottom of it. Should he stay at PSG? Okay, so now that we've talked about Ethan's playing ability, it is important to discuss his chances at PSG. The Ligue 1 Giants have one of the best academies in European football, and since the club was bought by the Qataris, it has gotten even better. In recent years, the likes of Kingsley Coman, Adrian Rabio, Moussa Daibi, and Christopher Nkunku are all graduates of the PSG Academy. Therefore, it is safe to assume that Ethan, being at the camp at this Logos, makes all the right sense for now. The players we just mentioned are no longer playing for the runaway Ligue 1 leaders, and we can see why. At PSG, the the pressure to win at all cost is immense, which is why whoever becomes the manager is expected to deliver from the get-go. PSG are a team that are obsessed with winning the Champions League and it is clear that the formula to do that is to buy already developed players and hope for the best. Therefore, no manager has the luxury of time on their side. This is why the likes of Koeman and Kunku and others left Parc de Prince in order to join teams that would offer them more playing time. We expect Ethan Mbappe to go through a similar situation in a few years. He might have developed into a real talent by then, but would PSG even hire a manager? who would happily give a young player considerable game time, especially when far more experienced options would be available? This is why we expect Mbappe to spend a few seasons on loan before he decides to test his luck elsewhere. But then again, if he develops at the same speed like his elder brother did, then maybe he has a future at PSG. However, we're not going to hold our breath for that. So guys, this was our take on Ethan Mbappe, who definitely has a lot of pressure to get anywhere near to the ability of his elder brother. But then again, he has all the talent to make a name for himself. Let us know what do you think about our take on the comment section below. And make sure to watch our video on things you didn't know about the new Manchester United bus. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.